What do you do when you get sick? Ask Dr. Dick. Good evening. I'm Dr. Dick. Old School asks, In this time of financial uncertainty, is butt chugging a safe and viable means by which to get an inexpensive buzz? Thanks, Old School. Excellent question. For those of you who don't know, and I can't imagine that there are many of you in this category, the colloquial term butt chugging, or as we in the medical field term alcohol enema, is the act of introducing alcohol into the rectum and colon via the anus, i.e. as an enema. The presumed advantages behind this method of administration is the belief that it produces a faster intoxication with less nausea and vomiting. In the oral route, alcohol is absorbed in the stomach and small intestine. Once absorbed, it travels directly to the liver where it is metabolized, rendering a third of it ineffective as an intoxicant. Rectal administration allows for alcohol to be absorbed by the rectum's blood vessels and flow directly into the body's circulatory system, without this first-pass metabolism by the liver. This means that the drug will reach the circulatory system with significantly less alteration and in greater concentrations than oral administration. I am happy to report that this theory does indeed seem to be supported by the latest research. In a double-blind randomized control study uh, performed by Dr. Hugh Jordan in 2019, rectal administration of alcohol, in this case Crown Royal Rye Whiskey, raised serum alcohol levels by three times when compared to the gold standard, aka oral consumption. The results of this study were statistically significant. It must be noted, however, that there was a higher incidence of house trashing and chair-related assaults in the test group when compared to regular controls. There are several preferred methods by which one can administer alcohol via the rectal route. In the rectal rocket method, the patient inserts into the rectum an alcohol-soaked tampon or similarly a homemade suppository fashioned with a suppository press. I happen to have one here. Another popular approach, especially amongst friends at parties or beer gardens, is the beer bong or funnel method, where the patient does a headstand while a partner pours the alcohol into a funnel through a rubber tube and eventually into the participant's anal cavity. There are some exciting applications for future use. In light of the recent vaping craze, LWO is currently in negotiations with a world-renowned pharmaceutical company to take vaping to the next level. Anal vaping. Long gone will be the days when one has to interrupt one's conversations just to suck back a hoot of their oral vaping device. Another piece of news that I'm happy to announce is that LWO will be teaming up with ShipIt for application in beer leader contests. Currently, the beer leader is determined by the somewhat crude method of tallying the number of beers drunk. This approach is limited, however, in that it doesn't take into account route of administration, i.e. oral or rectal routes, body weight, food consumption, hydration levels, etc., etc. What if we could actually measure alcohol intoxication levels accurately? With butt chugging becoming the alcohol consumption practice of the future, breathalyzer use will essentially be rendered obsolete. Quantifying intoxication with innovative technologies like the shit bit will make beer leader scoring much more accurate and exciting. Stay tuned. What do you do when you get sick? Ask Dr. Dick.